Hi, I'm Tom McKay from Verizoom, and this is our new product, the Stealthy. Uh, the Stealthy is about a five-in-one tool. It's uh, our new patented product. Uh, it's basically uh, an evolution of the uh, FlowPod, which we came out some time ago, except it does a whole lot more. Uh, we're putting together a quick instruction here because uh, it's actually so detailed that it's, it's easier to demonstrate in a video. Now the Stealthy uh, only weighs about uh, 1.6 pounds and you can stabilize and or balance a, a camera up to about five pounds. Uh, basically, it's the configuration you see right here. Fits neatly on your hip. There's a hook that's also included with it. And you can uh, put like a little T1 camera like here that's both uh, for video and still photography uh, to even as something as small as a GoPro and, and anything in between. Uh, now, Basically, this is what we call camcorder mode right here. This is how a lot of us use it most often. So right here, I'm ready to go, and I got it in video mode. Again, you saw that I can quickly hang it back up on my hip. I can take it off. I flip this down, and now this is what we call uh, monopod mode. For like a lap monopod, this is an ideal tool for like in the bleachers. This is how I get my kids games, basketball and otherwise. Uh, works well. I can adjust it for my, my height or my wife's height. Uh, one of the other great things is we got a built-in gimbal right here. Now, as you see, I balanced this earlier uh, with, these, uh, with the weights. It comes with uh, three counterweights that you can use to adjust. Each weight offsets about almost, almost about a pound or about a, seven or eight ounces of, of camera weight. I have two on here right now. What I do is when I set this up, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put enough weight on here till it starts to balance the camera. Right about like you see it is about right. If that camera was a little bit heavier, I would adjust this down. And you can see it's kind of righting itself a little faster. I'm gonna bring it all the way up. And that's, that's just about right. And the way you know that is once you've got the gimbal free, set it up, and you've got two points of axis here. I loosen this up and you can see I can adjust the camera back and forth and that's how I, I get my one axis. I'm going to move that back. See how it's leaning to the one side? I'm going to scoot it over and you can see right there it's just about even. So I'm going to tighten that up. Here's the other adjustment right here on the side. And you can see that's kind of leaning forward. I want this to be just about rock steady. There you go, right in the middle. I'm going to tighten that down. So I've got the two axes. I've counterbalanced the weight of the camera. And now the way I'm going to check that is I'm just going to move this back and forth. And you can see how it's staying straight, even though I'm moving it quite rapidly back and forth. If it was very out of balance, it would pendulum one way or the other. But what we're looking good here. So right now, I've got the ability to do a stabilized shot or a simulated crane movement, I can come down or up under. Uh, very smooth. I can walk around it. I can go around somebody that's on a dance floor or, or whatever. I can go from a wedding videographer, or go pan the buffet table or, or whatever I need to do. But the best part about it is I snap it back in place and now I'm ready to go in monopod mode. Uh, the other great thing about this, it's far more than just a, a monopod and a stabilizer and, and the camcorder mode that you saw. With two seconds, flip it back, and now you can see I have a three-point shooter that I can adjust for my body. If I want to be a little bit closer here, I'm just going to turn that, bring it in, lock it back in, so I can adjust this for just about anybody's body. The other great thing is, unlike other stabilizers, I can set this thing down, and now I've got a tabletop tripod or a hi-hat. And now I've got that additional uh, utility of a uh, tabletop tripod. And again, if I don't need the tripod anymore, just that simple, flip it back together, and there you go. Now I'm back in my monopod mode. I'm gonna lock the handle, the gimbal, because I don't want the, the handle to be freewheeling. And I, uh, this unit also, it's an extra accessory for another about $30. You've got a monopod that comes with it. I usually hang my monopod here on the hook and then uh, if I need it I can always
put it in later on. So, and with the monopod, that's just as simple as slipping it up inside, give it a couple of turns. You can adjust it up to about six and a half feet. Uh, and again, now I've got a monopod. Right back into your basic stealthy mode where you can flip between all the modes that I just demonstrated. Back on the hip it goes. And uh, it's actually more convenient to keep your camera with your stealthy hanging on your hip than it is to lug around a bag or hold it in your hand or hang it around your neck. Just go to verizoom.com slash stealthy or you can go to stealthy.tv and uh, get more detail, watch the videos and uh, give us a call if you have any other questions.